Hello guys and you're welcome. In this quick Unity tutorial, I'll show you how you can set up your shader graph and use the universal render pipeline. So first of all, let's just go ahead and open up Unity Hub. So with Unity Hub open, the next thing we're going to do is to create a new project. But this time around, we'll create a new Unity 2019.4.1F1, which is the latest version as at now. So the first thing we're going to do is to use the universal render pipeline template. So let's just go ahead and click the template right here. So basically what this is going to do is to automatically set up our scene for the universal render pipeline. And we're also going to have access to the Unity shader graph. So let's just go ahead and click this project. I'm just going to call that uh, URP underscore PRJ like that. I'm going to leave that in the default location. I'm just going to click on create. So while we've loaded that universal render pipeline template, Unity is going to actually show you the project and you're gonna have this all set up. So if we go to edit and go to graphic settings, let's go to project settings. And if you look at it right here, when it says graphics, we have the universal render pipeline and this is uses the high quality URP pipeline asset. And this is all you need to uh, set up the universal uh, render pipeline. Also, there is a quick tutorial that opens up here and tells you about the uh, universal render pipeline, but we're not going to be going into much more details about that. So from here on, if you want to create a new project, you can just go ahead to your scenes and let's go to go ahead and go to file new scene. And you can save your scene and begin, in, uh, begin to work using the uh, Universal Render Pipeline project. So in our new scene, one good advantage of working with the Universal Render Pipeline template is that we can actually start working with Shader Graph directly. So if I go ahead and right click on our project tabs under the assets, I can go ahead and say create and I'll go to a shader. And I can just go to any of these uh, shaders. So I'll to use a PBR graph, which is a procedurally based render graph. And if I click on that, it's going to ask me for a name. So I'm just say SHD, which is going to be the name of our shader. And if we click on that and open the shader editor, and also like click on the three dot icons and click on maximize, we're going to have this uh, shader right here for preview. And we can actually go ahead and start building our graph. So basically that's how you can get started with the uh, universal render pipeline and shader graph. So uh, in our next lesson, I'll show you how you can set up your project when you don't use the universal render pipeline template. So once again, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next lesson.